Hi Aquarius, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of July 22nd to July 28th, 2024. I'm going to take a look at your energy Aquarius and then I'll see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box below. That will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's see your energy. Spirit, angels, and guides, please show me the energy of Aquarius in regards to love for this week. Aquarius. What's the energy of Aquarius in regards to love for this week? Aquarius. First card we have for you, Aquarius, is the Four of Pentacles here. We also have here the Three of Swords in your energy. And we also have here the Six of Wands in your energy. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant with the Hangman and the Two of Swords. All right, let's see what's going on here. Four of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Six of Wands, Hierophant, the Hangman, Two of Swords. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's a lot of this Six of Wands energy that I'm noticing in the collective. Six of Wands keeps showing up for, for almost every sign. Let me just clarify that before I say anything. Tell me about the Six of Wands, Spirit, please. Yeah, there's there's an energy of you um, determined to not go back to the past or not re revisit something from your past. I feel like you're determined to, to stick to your guns you're determined to stick to your guns. You're determined to stick to your standards and your values and not settle for anything less than what you know you deserve. Yeah. I feel like you're on a mission to succeed, to achieve something in your life, to, 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 to progress, to move on, to move forward, to level up. It's like you're determined to prove, your, prove to yourself that you can overcome this challenge or this, this issue, this setback. I feel like you're proving it to yourself that you're strong enough to overcome this heartbreak or this pain, or this, you know, this obstacle. I feel like a strength. It feels like a lot of strength coming from you. Like, I'm, I'm going to make it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make this happen. I'm going to push forward. I'm going to do better. I'm going to be better. I'm not going to let my past hold me back, or I'm not going to let my past uh, break me down. Or I'm not going to let my past discourage me and, and un unmotivate me to, to, to not move forward in life. It's like you refuse to cry over, over, over your past. You're, you're invigorated with, with new energy to, to succeed in some way. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like you know your worth. You, you know you deserve more than what, you've been, than what you've been experiencing. Like, you know you deserve more. You know you deserve better. 
you know that you can manifest better for yourself for yourself yeah this feels like you refusing to settle yeah for for the bare minimum Yeah, you're on a mission to manifest abundance in your life, to manifest happiness in your life and stability, security, prosperity, you know. You know you can do it, you know you can have it, and you know you deserve it. So you're being a fighter here. I'm getting like a fighter spirit from you. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's move over to your person's side now of the reading. Let's see their energy. Spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of the person Aquarius is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week, please. What is this person's energy towards Aquarius for this week, please? Let's see. All right, Aquarius first card with um, for your person is the Ten of Pentacles. That's interesting. You might be dealing, sorry, some of you might be dealing with a Virgo. All right, we also have in their energy here the Eight of Cups showing up. And we also have here the Two of Wands. Uh, Pisces or Aries. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Pentacles with the Five of Cups and also the, interesting, the Five of Swords. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Eight of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Five of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Two of Wands. Yeah, so someone is getting left behind. I keep getting this message. It keeps showing up. Somebody's getting left behind. As you're as you're improving yourself and focusing on yourself and moving towards, you know, a better future, you're leaving something behind. You're leaving someone behind, and they're not happy about it at all. They're very bitter here. They feel really bitter. They're upset. They're angry. They're annoyed. They're bothered. This feels like the type of person that doesn't want you to succeed. Or like they don't want you to do better than them. It almost feels like um, mis misery loves company type of energy. Yeah, I feel like this person is in a miserable energy and, and they want you to be miserable too. They, they want you to like accompany them in, in their misery. And you're not doing that. Hmm. Or you're not doing that anymore. Maybe you did that in the past. All right, let's clarify. Spirit, tell me about the Five of Cups in this person's energy, please. Uh, we have, what is this, Scorpio energy. Tell me about the Five of Cups, please. Yeah, I feel like you're in this energy of, well, too bad for you. Too bad for you, sorry for you, but... I'm not going to sabotage my life just for you, just just to be with you and, and, and accompany you in your misery. Like, I'm not going to do that to myself. I'm not going to... I'm not going to join you in your downfall. This could also be an energy of you feeling like karma has hit this person. 
kind of like, well, too bad for you. Like, that's, that's your karma. You shouldn't have created bad karma for yourself. Yeah, I'm getting a little, I'm getting that too, too bad for you, too bad for you. Like, I'm sorry for you, but I can't help you with that. Like, you, you made your bed and now you have to lie in it. Or the, these are the consequences that you deserve. I feel like that's how you're looking at them. These are the consequences that you deserve. Tell me about the five of cups here. Yeah, three of swords. This person is heartbroken. Three of swords. Because you're, you're breaking up with them, is what I'm getting. You're breaking up with them. You're leaving them. You're separating from them. And, and you don't really care what they think. Because it kind of looks like this person, they didn't care about you. So why should you care about them, is what I'm getting. It's like, it's like you reap what you sow, you know? Tell me about the Five of Swords uh, connected here to Aquarius with the Two of Wands. Queen of Wands. Yeah, you're, you're focused on yourself now with the Queen of Wands. You're very focused on yourself and on your, um, your stability, your peace, your, your harmony, your tranquility, your success. Your independence. Yeah, you don't feel bad for this person. It's like they didn't feel bad for you when they, when they put you through whatever they put you through. So you're not going to feel bad for them. It, is this like roles being like, what do you call that? Like tables being turned? Because it's, it's starting to feel that way to me. I'm starting to get that vibe here. I feel like the, the tables have turned in, in, a, in a big way, in, in a massive way. The tables have turned. Yeah. It, it, I, I am getting like karma hitting this person. I, I'm getting that. It's like they played themselves. This person played themselves. It backfired. I'm, I'm getting a backfiring energy also. Something backfired for this, per, for this person. I feel like they try to play some sort of game on you and, they, and it backfired. It almost looks like you outsmarted this person. Yeah. I'm definitely getting an energy of you outsmarting them. Okay, so Aquarius, I'm going to stop the reading right here, and I'm going to continue now in the extended. In the extended reading, I will be taking a deeper look at your person. I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions with you for this week? What actions will they be taking towards you moving forward? And what will the overall outcome be for this relationship? If you're interested, you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.